Now, finally, I would like to turn to looking at a couple of logically weak or what Feldman calls ill-formed. We're using logically weak in the same way, and later on we'll find out why we've changed those terms, but just remember that they're the same thing. Look at these invalid, these logically weak patterns or logically weak form of inferences. And let me, before I put anything up there, warn you guys of something. Oftentimes, I find students are getting confused about which are the valid ones and which are not the valid ones. Make sure you know what the valid ones are before looking at the invalid ones because if you don't have that straight in your mind, you're just going to confuse them because they look very similar. And you'll see this. Let's look at the first one. If I can get it up here. Okay, here it goes. All men are mortal. Fido is mortal. Therefore, Fido is a man. In class, oftentimes, people right, right away recognize this is not a good argument and the idea especially that you the reason you can recognize it is uh, Fido I think some of you know is a, uh, a a name that a lot of people used to give dogs Fido spot things like that so and dogs are mortal so the, in fact the premises are true since I'm talking about a dog Fido but Fido and, and the conclusion is false so it's easy for us to imagine a case where the premises are true and the conclusions false namely the actual one that I am talking about but let's take a look at the pattern of inference the invalid pattern all A's all men are mortal we've encountered that enough times to be familiar with it all A's R, and we'll see it should everything within the circle of A comes up within the circle of B's. X Fido is a B, a second thing, a mortal, so it tells us that Fido is a B, and let's see where that puts us. That is, it tells us that the second premise says that Fido is a B, right? So it puts the X there. It could be there, it could be there, but it, it could be either place, but it doesn't have to go within the circle of A's. Therefore, X is an A. Well, since we can put X in the B's, in the circle of B's, but not in the A, we can't conclude, you know, we don't have to put X within the A's, so we cannot get to that conclusion. So the diagram, in trying to, trying to set up the diagram, we see that we can do it in such a way where X goes just where the first one, the higher one, is suggesting just that's a B and not an A. So it's an invalid pattern. It's going in the wrong direction. And if you guys remember, I told you kind of this looks like all A's are B, X is a B. Remember, A, positive direction. It's got to go off to the right, not towards the left. If that helps you, if it doesn't, just ignore it. The important thing is keep yourself straight on the valid ones if the invalid ones are confusing you. And let's take a look at another invalid one. <clears throat> and you might say these are kind of the evil twins of the first and second valid pattern of argument. Uh, that is, they're the evil twins because the other ones were valid. These are invalid. All men are mortal. Fido is not a man, therefore Fido is not a mortal, is is not mortal, but we know dogs are mortal, and since we're talking about Fido the dog, we know the premises are true, the conclusion's false, it can't be a valid form of inference. And if we look at the form, it's all A's or B's. X is not an A, therefore X is not a B. I should have put a big red X over this. Invalid. Bad form of inference. 
taking a look at the Venn diagram, we have all the class of Bs, and the first premise tells us all the As are within the Bs. And the second premise tells us X is not an A. That is, X could go over here in this circle of B, or it could go outside of the circle of B and still not be within EA, right? Because the only thing that that second premise is, tells us is that X can't go in this circle of A, but it could go there or it could go there. And if it could, could go here, it's not going to guarantee, if it could, sorry, go there, inside the circle of B, it's not going to guarantee that X is not a B. So this is an invalid, a bad form of inference, something that we don't want to follow. So here, just to summarize, I gave you a slide, all A's are B's, X is a B, the second one, therefore X is a B, an A, bad, bad, bad form of inference. Just remember all men are mortal, Fido's mortal, therefore Fido is a man, you can't conclude that, Fido's a dog. Same thing with the second one, all A's are B's. X is not an A, and remember, if it's not, we're going in the negative direction towards the left. We can't do that, so we can't conclude X is not a B. In other words, just think of the inference, the example, all men are mortal, Fido, from the fact that all men are mortal and Fido is not a man, we cannot conclude that he's an immortal dog, because all dogs are mortal. So now we've gone through the valid patterns of inference, the invalid patterns of inference, and I think what's important is to do a few examples now, go through a couple of examples to make sure we can recognize the valid and the invalid patterns, because remember the reason we went through this is in looking or in deciding whether there's a good, good logic in a quantifier logic. Remember all sum are quantifiers. In the quantifier realm we've seen a good percentage of the good, the valid inferences, and we've seen some that are invalid, that are bad, and we should be able to recognize it. And this is going to help us in evaluating whether an argument is valid or not, once we have reconstructed the argument. In addition to which, in reconstructing the argument, we're going to see, we're going to try to be fair to the guy all the time, the guy who's giving the argument, and we're going to try to make his argument a valid argument.